That's right, there's going to be another Titanic coming out. There's going to be an exact replica of Titanic called the Titanic 2. Uh, apparently, it's currently scheduled to be launched in 2022. About 10 years ago, an eccentric billionaire out of Australia uh, announced he was going to recreate the cruise ship and the cruise experience for everybody in the world. Um, initially, it was in, going to be uh, launched in 2016, which was pushed back to 2018, which was pushed back to 2020. And we had a slight health issue in 2020, which pushed it back to 2022. Um, right now, the plans are to have it look exactly like the original. Instead of having coal-powered engines, it is going to have diesel engines this time. Also, it's going to be very close to the original size, but it's going to be about 12 feet wider. It's going to have all the most modern equipment that a cruise ship could have. The decor and everything inside is going to try to replicate the original as much as possible, even down to period uh, gem equipment. They are planning on sail. The initial sailing is going to be from China over to Dubai with its maiden voyage from Dubai to Southampton. After that, it plans to have a regular route between Southampton and New York City. Now, I did check uh, Cruise Mapper today to check on this ship, and it does say it won't be launched till 2023. So hopefully it is coming. I can't find much information on it other than a little blurb here or there. But um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited for that. That should be interesting. We're gonna go over some cruise industry stats and facts. Uh, in 2021, the cruise market recovered to levels last seen in 2006 with close to 14 million passengers worldwide. That's almost double the 2020 numbers, but just below half of the 29.7 million passengers for the end of 2019. Uh, in 2019, the cruise industry created jobs for 1.8 million people and contributed over $154 billion to the global economy. That's incredible. Uh, right now, there are 323 cruise ships in the world, and that's 23 fewer than pre-COVID. Pre so the return to sailing is doing great. That's awesome that everybody's getting back. In 2021, uh, Royal Caribbean carried the most passengers for all cruise lines with 26.8 million passengers, and they had 20 of their 24 ships back in service by December of 2021. Uh, in 2021, there were 60 more percent more cruise ships were built than in 2020. 24 new cruise ships were delivered in 2021, some of which included the Virtuosa and Seashore with MSC, the Odyssey and Wonder of the Seas for Royal Caribbean, the Valiant Lady for Virgin, the Rotterdam for Holland America, and the Discovery Princess for Princess Cruises. 25 new cruise ships are scheduled to be delivered in 2022, including the Ada Cosma, the Celebrity Beyond, Disney Wish, Virgin Resilient Lady, NCL Prima, Dream Cruises Global Dream, Carnival Celebration, and MSC Seascape. More than 50% of all new cruise ships on order for 2022 and beyond will be powered by LNG, and 96% of non-LNG ships will have an exhaust gas cleaning system installed as well. 2022 sees the launch of the biggest cruise ship of the world, the Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. It is about 4% larger than the previous largest ship, the Symphony of the Seas. The Wonder will also become the joint longest cruise ship in the world, tying the Harmony of the Seas at 1,118 feet or 340.8 meters in length. Each of these ships is longer than the Eiffel Tower is tall. That's incredible. 300 meters, that's pretty far. There are over 2,000 cruise ports in the world and Miami is the busiest of all of them. One last point of news. Uh, you can see an abandoned cruise wreck on Google Maps. That's right, the MS World Discoverer is a cruise ship that stuck a, struck a rock in the ocean off the Solomon Islands in April of 2000. All the passengers and crew were transported to safety, but the ship is still there to this day. And you can see it on Google Maps. I'll put a link before. I hope you liked this video. I hope you've watched long enough to uh, get to this point, and I hope you're going to subscribe. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Good talking to you. Bye.